What up, YouTube? This is Supercharged iOS, and this is my full review of the Rico Magic MK8024 as well as the Rico Magic MK704 fly mouse and keyboard. The Rico Magic MK8024 has a rock chip RK3188 quad core Cortex A9 CPU. The graphics processor unit is a Mali 400 MP4 for 2D and 3D graphics. It has 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM as well as 8 or 16 gigs of internal flash storage. It has incredible Wi-Fi 802.11 BGN as well as Bluetooth built in and is incredibly thin, light and powerful. And as you can see from the pictures, it's extremely close to the same size as a USB flash drive. And the best way to control your device is with the Rico Magic MK704 Motion Plus Air Mouse with keyboard. It works off of a USB dongle that is nano size, so you can barely see it. It works with PCs, Macs, smart TVs, set-top boxes, Android TV boxes, media players, just about anything that takes a USB and you can use a keyboard and, and mouse with, you should be able to use this with and it works excellent with the Rico Magic MK8024 so we're going to review that as well so let's check them both out first thing we're going to do is a benchmark test with Antutu benchmark so let's go ahead and launch it and go ahead and click test again And we'll see you right after the test is complete. All right, now the test is complete. Let's see how the MK8024 did versus all the other popular Android devices. You can see the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 leads the pack with almost 35,000 as the score. Let's scroll down. And there's my device, and which is the MK8024, which scored 14,314, which is not bad. Let's go ahead and click details. There's the number, let's see what was tested. RAM speed and RAM operation are both fairly decent. 731 RAM speed, 1788 RAM operation. And if you look up here, you see this X4 by CPU. That X4 means it's four cores, which is quad core, which is with the MK8024 is. So we'll go ahead and scroll down a little more. And you see the Mali 400 MP graphics processor unit, 2D and 3D graphics tested. And they were tested in full HD 1920 by 1008, which is right at full HD. Next, we'll test the download and upload speeds using internet speed test. And now the test is complete. Looks like we got 10.79 on our download speed and 1.49 on our upload speed. But this test varies from time to time. I've gotten it as high as 13. I've gotten it as low as 5 per uh, download speed, megabytes per second. So it just depends, I guess, on when you test it and how much of other devices are running on your network and stuff like that. And one of the more cool features about this device is the fact that it comes with pre-rooted software. I'll go ahead and run this root checker and just show you. Click right here, verify root access. And anytime you need to see if your device is rooted, you can also use this application for any device you purchase. There you go. This one is pre-rooted. So anytime you purchase the MK8024 from Rico Magic. You're guaranteed to get a rooted device off jump. You won't have to worry about finding any rooted software or anything like that. It's already ready to go as soon as you get it. Something else I was able to do with the Rico Magic MK8024 was I was able to use external to internal and flip the memory of the device with my SD card, which is 32 gigs. So I'll go into my storage right now and show you. And by the way, I have videos on my channel that can show you how to do this. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description as well as on the screen real quick 
and you can go ahead and follow that video if you'd like to do this also I'll just go to storage scroll down a little bit and show you right here NAND flash this device only comes with 8 or 16 gigs of flash memory but you can see mine the NAND flash is 29.32 gigs because I've flipped it with the external SD card and not all devices are give you that ability if they have emulated storage you aren't able to do this but this device fortunately will allow me to do it so if you want to do that just go ahead and check out that link in the description and I found that XBMC is really smooth on this device some of these devices it doesn't the interface is really laggy you can see I can flip through the menu really quickly with no lag whatsoever so that's definitely a plus let's go to system info and check out the inner workings of the device you can see right here we're using up maybe about 20 or 30 percent between 15 to 20 and 30 percent at times of the CPU it's back and forth but it's at a decent range and you can see right here the storage is going to be significantly less than for, for you normally but you can see that it does recognize the full memory that I have from my SD card which I flipped to the internal storage so now I can download videos and whatever from XBMC right onto the SD card which is really really useful let's go to hardware right here you can see different things hardware RK30 board the ARM processor and this device is impressive works pretty good with XBMC let's go ahead and check out some of my videos on YouTube alright so now I've got some of my videos so we'll go ahead and start one of them let's find the Rico Magic unboxing video and we'll choose 720p and you can see it started right up and that's a good sign there wasn't any buffering whatsoever as soon as I hit play all they had to do was load up the video so you're not gonna have to worry about any buffering and this is in 720p so you can see right there I just put that on the screen for you that way you'd know you can see that it was 720p so this device is decent for XBMC you know it's it's definitely gonna work if that's what you're trying to use it for just on a different TV I wouldn't use this as my standard as my television that I use every single day but if you just want to add XBMC to another room and have a hidden device where no one can really see it you can stash this behind your television or something like that you can definitely use this device for something like that and if you have a USB to micro USB cable you can go ahead and plug that straight in your USB of the back of your television and then you won't even need to power this device whatsoever so you can really stash this device good so, alright let's move on and when you're using the Rico Magic MK704 fly mouse all you have to do is get familiar with this button in the middle the left click and the right click are here and here but this button in the middle is gonna turn on and off the arrow icon on your screen so what you need to do is kind of if you use this button to get your arm set where it's comfortable for you that way you can use the mouse on your screen and as you can see it it works well as long as you avoid the edges of the screen because that will cause the arrow to stop moving and then when your arm gets moving back in the other direction the mouse will continue to move so it's a little bit of a learning curve if you're new to fly mouse but once you get the hang of it, it's fairly simple. This is where you recharge it at right there. So it doesn't take any batteries, anything like that. And you can see the placement of the keyboards is really nice. I mean, you can hold it and you can type really quick. You can use the space bar. You know, so this, and then it has the arrows right there for the directional and the enter button. So this is a really nice air mouse and keyboard combo. And like I said, it does work really well. And the interface of the MK8024 is absolutely great. You can see the interactive wallpaper. It really looks nice. It doesn't have any lag and it looks practically flawless. I mean, you can click on stuff and get it to move. The reflections are great. And you don't see that in every device. So the graphics and the interface of this device is excellent. Earlier, we tested the download and upload speeds. So now let's download an application from Google Play. 
and see how fast it actually downloads an app. So we're going to click install right now. Accept. And here goes the process. And this app is 37.61 megabytes, so it's an average size game. And we're halfway done already. And it's fully downloaded. Now it's installing. And it's installed. So it took about 15 seconds to install the average game, Temple Run 2. Another thing I was able to do with the MK8024 was I was able to mirror the display of the device to my Mac. But you can also do this with a PC. I had to use an app called Air Display. So you can just install that app onto the MK8024 and also install the helper onto your computer, PC or Mac. You, uh, it's a company called Avatron and once you download the application right here air display on MK8024 you'll be able to get the instructions from within the app so that you can finish setting up the process so once you get it launched like this all you have to do is go to the next part where it says connect and I just got it all set up right here so I just click connect like that And there you go, just takes a couple seconds. And I got it set up so I can show you, you can see the mouse arrow. It really doesn't have much lag at all. So this is a pretty neat feature. The Air Mouse was also able to move applications and desktop icons and things like that and launch stuff on my Mac using the Air Mouse. So that was a plus. All right, so this concludes my full review of the MK8024 as well as the MK704 fly mouse. I hope this was a good review. I hope it told you guys what you wanted to know about these devices. We tested XBMC. We also did Answer 2 benchmark test as well as the upload and download speeds. I'd like to thank RicoMagic.com for sending me these two great devices to review. If you're interested in purchasing either or both of these devices, the links will be in the description below. This is Supercharged iOS. This was a full review of the Rico Magic MK8024 Quad Core Android Mini PC and the Rico Magic MK704 Fly Maps. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please click the like button and also like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.